our next tune is a little bit different from the stuff that they play uh, exercises in their book and the music they played before. Uh, this one's called Little Star. It's an arrangement of uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. However, Dad to the Rescue. Dad to the Rescue. Let's take a final call. Um, this tune is not like the other ones that play. It's not. It's, it's not as rhythmic. It's not as fast. It is. It is a little bit slower and more lyrical. Learning to play quite literally a musical side of the of making music as opposed to rhythms and energy and, and, and that kind of genre. So uh, there's lots of stuff going on. There's lots of independent lines. There's there's multiple harmonies going on at the same time. These guys have really really grown as musicians uh, with this piece of music super proud of. So here's the little star. Hello 
Okay, yes, thank you so much for everyone that's already attended their summer band course. Um, summer band this year is going to be meeting here from June 10th through June 21st. That's um, Monday through Friday from 10.30 to 11.30 with the concert being um, on June 21st, so Friday at 11.30. Um, summer band is always a super fun time, and the kiddos get to, um, not that it's, you know, all the music we play isn't fun, but we try to pick some fun pop tunes and whatnot. And so this year's theme is going to be all music from movies. And um, it's a lot of fun. Every day is a different theme or a different contest. Um, and it's just a really, really good opportunity for your kids to get a little bit additional help over the summer because, I mean, let's be honest, we all know that practice over summer is <laughs> not always going to happen. So um, it's a really great thing. If you did not get the form for it, um, or you need an extra copy, there are yellow um, papers right over there by the door on the way out. So um, I hope we can get as many people as possible to join us. So thank you. <coughs> We have a special treat for these guys, um, and just to see them make it They have no idea this is coming, so it's going to be a complete surprise. Hello, my name is Mrs. Sam. No, this is my name. <laughs> my name is Mrs. Sandman, and I haven't had the chance to meet a lot of you guys, but I'm the Kimson Band Director, and I have the privilege of teaching the saxophone, most of the saxophones and clarinets um, back here. Um, we like to encourage the playing over the summer. Um, and the, these guys have done such a great job through this year that um, we like to encourage one of a couple things that happen. One thing is what Ms. DeWitt just talked about is summer band. Um, if, if they can do that, that's a great option. Another option is they put all this work in. If they can do, even play for you some of their fun songs that they've done, you know, just as a review all through the year. Maybe do a little concert once a week or, you know, you're, you've got a picnic or something like that. Just to keep playing alive. Um, one of the most effective things that they could do is summer lessons and we highly encourage summer lessons. Summer lessons, private lessons are a, an opportunity where students get to meet one-on-one -on -one with a teacher who's an expert on their instrument. And this is um, not only for students who are struggling, but for students who excel. It is the number one most best way to, to improve on your instrument. Uh, we're offering a scholarship to two students, and this is the first year that we've done this, and I want to take a second to just uh, explain to you. First of all, if you are interested in summer lessons, I did put a few flyers fam, that look like this. Um, we recommend some teachers, local teachers in the area, and there's contact info right there. Um, they're on the, the stands over there, so if you would like to you know, get your students, your child involved in summer lessons, we highly recommend it, um, and there's that. Um, I'm going to read you a little bit about this scholarship. It's brand new this year. This is why I get to kind of introduce it, which is very cool. Um, we have a new award this year called the Business Scholarship. This is the first year that a total of four scholarships will be awarded. Two students at Kinton received it a couple weeks ago at our concert, one of whom is sitting up there. One of our recipients is back there. Yeah, he's waiting for everybody. I did go. And two Lakeview students, and they're both fifth graders this year, are going to be receiving the scholarship tonight. I'll give you a little bit of background on this. The big scholarship, standing, it stands for Building Individual Growth, was established this year thanks to monetary donations from former band parents who recognized and valued the importance of private instrumental lessons. These parents saw firsthand the musical growth and improvement on their, um, in their own children as a result of private lessons. The big scholarship, Building Individual Growth, is to identify band students who show a great amount of potential on their instrument with the nurturing assistance of private lessons. The big scholarship will cover the cost of five private lessons with a teacher who is a specialist on their instrument. It is our hope that this scholarship experience will shed light and understanding to the value and benefit of what private lessons can do for their child. The Stowe Band directors have discussed many students, but narrowed it down to two fifth grade students. These are students who exemplify natural talent, dedication to their instrument, outstanding work ethic, and musical promise with the assistance of private, lesson, private lessons. I'm happy to announce that our first scholarship winner is awarded to Lydia Worm. And 
Our second scholarship winner is Luke Stutz. And it would be great if parents would like to come down here at the end of the concert and get a quick photo with them. And they've got some important information for you parents. Thank you so much. I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Lewis.
my friends over here in our high school percussion ensemble. They're going to play for you a um, piece they did at, back in uh, February at OMA, a solo ensemble adjudicated event. This piece is called Stained Glass. So you'll hear many sounds, many metallic sounds. Uh, we have piano in there and, and all kinds of stuff. So this is called Stained Glass.
promise, one more song. You're doing well. You're doing really, really well. Almost there. Almost there. Uh, I'd like to take a quick second, a quick second to thank my colleagues, Mr. Witt, Ms. Samen, Mr. Newman. Uh, we all do this as a team member, as you guys know, and this success, that success, all the success of this band program would not happen without the ability of, of us to do that. So thank you to my three colleagues very, very much. Very, very much. We're very, very lucky to be here. Our administrators, Mrs. Barnum and Mr. Young uh, they make it happen in our schedules, all of our crazy, crazy schedules, work together so that we are able to be with these kids. So thank you guys very, very much. Very, very much. Very, very much. Okay, so the last piece is called Echoes of Forgotten Times. It's a really fun, it's a percussive piece of music. Um, these guys have had a lot of fun with it, lots of claps. The, the, the wind instruments get to use the claps and participate in some percussive things, so I think you'll enjoy. Uh, as far as this whistle goes, uh, after we're done with this last piece, we're going to give them a minute to pack up their things. And I will dismiss them by row. You're going to go by row down to the cafeteria, where it's actually cold, and uh, set their instrument on a table that's clearly marked. Uh, with their folder, their instrument in the case, and their folding music stand. So tomorrow when they come back, they'll reverse the process, they'll get their stuff, and come to the music assembly. Okay? If you know what you, you probably know what your child plays. So uh, you will follow them, like who's in the first row, they'll go, and you as a flute parent will follow. Clarinets, altos, trumpets, trombones, the whole bit. Percussion, you may go with flutes, because you guys are going to put your kit in the storage room. The piece? Okay. Good. Everybody else will put their instrument in the cafeteria. Very good. All right. So I'll, I'll say that again. But thank you all for coming. Thank you for bearing the heat. I know this is this is always one of those uncomfortable concerts, uh, depending on the weather. But you guys have stuck it out. And thank you so much for your support of all these kids. Uh, it's going to be a great class of band kids. We're super proud of them. So here is Echoes of Forgotten Time.